The advancement of artificial intelligence has made it easier than ever to edit photographs or designs. In more than 15 years of experience, I have sometimes spent up to two or three hours editing a single photograph or design. But with this new technology, that's now a thing of the past. And this was especially catapulted in recent months with the arrival of the ChatGPT 4.0. Today, we are going to see three platforms where we will see three examples of what can be done and what cannot be done, with some results that will surprise you. Well, let's get started. For this example, we are going to see three platforms. One is Google Gemini, which last week made an update to their AI products. The other one is ChatGPT. As you know, the version 4.0 is the superior to everything that has come out in recent months. And now we have a new kit on the block. It's called Bagel and it's open source. You can install it in your local computers, but in this example, we are going to run it on the cloud. Well, so for this exercise, we are going to see three examples. One is editing an image by telling to remove all the people in it. The second example is doing totally the opposite. It's adding people to an image that is empty. And the last exercise is to translate an image into a second language. Okay, let's begin. Okay, let's start with this uh, image. So for this first example, we are going to use this photo, which is one of the projects I worked with before, which is a restaurant. Uh, as, and as you can see, it's full of people. And what we're going to tell is to remove all the people in the image. Okay, so here we're going to do it in Gemini first uh, and simultaneously we're gonna use uh, ChatGPT. So we upload the prompt, uh, we say remove all the people from this image. We also tell uh, ChatGPT remove all the people from this image at the same time. And then uh, we're gonna do the same in this uh, Bagel AI platform. We supposedly they advertise it as a, as a ChatGPT competitor. So we'll see the results. Okay, and here we have the results. In Gemini, uh, it took uh, more or less one minute to create the image. Uh, and as you can see, it's super, super consistent. The bad thing is that it seems that it lowered the resolution of the image, uh, but well, uh, it's, it's pretty consistent. Now let's see the ChatGPT result. Perfect. But I think it changed the aspect radio of the image and it cropped it. It's not the full image. So in this case, if we want to have the full image, uh, we have to do a uh, kind of like two batches. Um, so that's the only problem. And here we have uh, our result of bagel, which is this one. It did what it was told to do, but it puts like a filter that doesn't look very sharp. It looks very, very low resolution. But well, that's a good example of what can be done with this platform. And if you are a designer and you are interested in how to make your own font using AI, you can watch my other video in this link. You will be surprised how easy it is to make your own font using AI. Click here to see more. Okay, let's move on to our second uh, exercise, which is doing the opposite. We are going to use an image. In this case, we are going to use the, this one, which is a render. It's a 3D render of also one of my other projects, which is another restaurant. So we tell it here, uh, add people to the image and make it look hyper realistic. So this is our prompt. We click here uh, and as uh, the previous example, we all love the image in Gemini. And then at the same time, we upload the image to this bagel platform and chat it. Then we send the request. Okay, and here we have our first result in Gemini. It did what it was told to do, so to add the people, but they look not real. It looked very fake. It, look, it looks like a, like a video game. And it doesn't look very hyper-realistic as we have specified in the prompt. Okay, let's move on to the bagel platform and this is the result. Um, the same, it added the people in the photo, but in this case, it looks very, very low quality. It doesn't look, um, it looks very poor uh, in terms of the image. So it, this result is not good at all. Okay, and then we have our result from the ChatGPT. Uh, which is the best of the three so far. 
The problem is that it changed the the text in the design of the shop uh, for some reason. Uh, but the rest it looks very very hyper realistic in a way and of course you can enhance the image by send uh, another prompt saying like make the people look more real but in that case you will lose one generation that you have per day okay and let's move on to the last example uh, where we are going to do uh, is to, uh, we have this image uh, this design of uh, instructions is like a manual that had to do uh, an uh, bagel which has some illustrations and with some text explaining step by step as you can see uh, so in here we are going to tell it to translate the content uh, of this image into spanish all the text is in English and we are going to translate it to Spanish. Okay, so here we also put uh, the same as before. We put the image in Gemini. Uh, we give the prompt here uh, and we tell to translate all the text to this image and keep the, the style of the font uh, similar but in Spanish. And then we are going to do it the same in ChatGPT, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and then we put the same prompt and lastly we do the same in the bagel platform uh, and let's see what it generates ready so here we already have our results um, this is the result from gemini and as you can see it didn't do the translation it simply made uh, another version of the of the uh, infography or the instructions but, and it didn't translate the text at all okay let's move on to the bagel results this is the, the one from this new platform as you can see it didn't do anything it just made the image as it is it didn't even create a gibberish text just made another image the same same as the original so not good at all. Uh, and then uh, let's move on to this one, the ChatGPT results. Wow, and here in ChatGPT actually gave me two versions to choose, uh, which is really, really good. And here, even the, the, the text, the fonts, uh, they look very similar as in the original file. The only problem uh, that I can see is that some of the text uh, is not, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense in Spanish. So the translation has some some uh, spelling mistakes uh, in some words, and the other problem is that now it's telling me that uh, I run out of um, generations uh, and I have to wait until tomorrow. So that's the only thing that um, uh, one of the the cons of uh, using ChatGPT. And after having explored these three tools, ChatGPT continues to be far superior. Gemini is in second place with good performance, but still very limited. And Bagel, which is the new project from ByteDance, uh, is still in development and needs quite a bit uh, to reach the quality of the other two. The good thing about Bagel is that it's open source. And as I said before, that means that you can install it locally on your computer and use it as many times as you want. And again, it seems that it's still in development and the results are not good as good as those of Gemini or ChatGPT. But on the other hand, Bagel can also generate descriptions of images to text, which is ideal if you want to create another image or a prompt based on the description. Additionally, it can generate sequences of images for videos, although not the video as such. The other difference is that since it's an open source, then you can run it as many times as you want while ChatGPT has about four to five generations per day, which is super limited with the free version. Well, that's all for this video. If you like it, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, activate the bell so you get notifications of my new videos. And remember, the AI we are living in today is just the beginning. The best is yet to come. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.